Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In previous videos, already we have discussed the solving of partial differential equations of first order. Okay, here there is another example. See the statement. Solve y square plus z square whole into p minus x y into q plus z x is equal to 0. Already you know that in earlier videos we discussed about the notations small p entire in the concept of partial differential equations small p represents dou z by dou x and small q represents dou z by dou y already you know it. So given partial differential equation can be written as PDE, PDE is nothing but partial differential equation can be written as so y square plus z square into p I am writing the first term as usually minus second term is also right as usually but take this term to right side so you will get minus zx take it equation number 1. So we are observing that clearly one is of the form what is the structure of this one? Clearly, one is of the form, which form? Capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q is equal to R. Hence, one is called Lagrange's PDE. So, first of all, every student should identify the structure of the Lagrange's PDE. Okay. So, what is the general solution of this type of Lagrange's PDE? The general solution of this type of Lagrange's PDE is f of u comma v is equal to 0. Function of u comma v is equal to 0. u is the first solution and v is the second solution. So, here we have to write what is p. What is p? Coefficient of small p. It would be y square plus z square. And what is q? Coefficient of q in the left side it would be minus x y do not forget to writing the negative sign and r is nothing but right hand side function it would be minus z x. First of all we have to write the auxiliary equation for getting the values of u and v. So the auxiliary equation so auxiliary equation are also known as subsidiary equations of the Lagrange speed you do not forget it another name of subsidiary is auxiliary equation you can write anything in our examinations of 1 is what is the formula for this one dx by p do not try to do x okay dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r replace the values so dx by what is capital p it would be y square plus z square is equal to dy by what is q it is minus xy and dz by r which is minus zx take it equation number 2. So clearly here we are observing that in the last two ratios the, den the denominators are in product that is why we have to check that whether they were solved by direct integration method or not. So clearly we are observing that here negative x and negative x gets cancelled since in the numerator dy and dz in the denominator remaining terms are only y and z that is why last two ratios are solved by direct integration method c solving last two ratios two ratios so once write the last two ratios here you will get dy by dy by minus xy is equal to dz by minus zx so minus x minus x gets cancelled ok. Suppose x terms are not cancelled then we cannot solve by direct integration method do not forget it. So take integration on both sides so, 1 by y already variables are separated directly so 1 by y dy is equal to 1 by z integration 1 by z dz. What is the integration of 1 by y log y is equal to log x. So sorry it is log z since both parts are have log you have to add log c1 instead of c1 because to get the solution simple form. So y is equal to c1z. However, y by z is equal to c1 you can say this is u. So it is enough to find out the multipliers. So another 
um, pair of ratios uh, didn't solve it directly. So, for another solution, we should take multipliers. See here. For another solution, another solution, we can take multipliers. We have to choose the multipliers. Multipliers as L1 is equal to M1 is equal to N1. Okay. How can we choose the multipliers? We should choose the multipliers so that the combination of L1 P plus M1 Q plus N1 R should be 0. We have to select L1 and M1 and N1 so that the combination of L1 P plus M1 Q plus N1 R should be 0. We have we are able to take the multipliers like this only. So, here we are observing that by observing the values of P, Q, R, I will take the multiplies as x, y, z. Okay, we have to guess the terms x, y, z. See here, uh, in your rough book, you can check it. x into P, x, y square plus x, z square. Since Q has a negative sign, and yeah, we are going to multiply this q term with y. So, plus into minus minus x y square and uh, r is also negative term. So, write negative sign and we are going to multiply the r term with uh, n 1 nothing but z. So, you are getting minus z square x. So, clearly we are observing that x y square negative x y square gets cancelled positive x z square and uh, negative x z square gets cancelled. So, combination becomes 0. You have to check the whether the combination is 0 or not in the rough only. Okay. Do not put this work in our solution on the book. Okay. So, clearly we are observing that L 1 p plus just we checked in rough book L 1 p plus M 1 q plus N 1 r is equal to 0. So, here one second, I have to erase the board. One second. Ah, see here, already we checked that this combination is 0. Now replace L1 value. What is L1 value? We are taking L1 as x. What is P? P means this one, do not write this one. So, according to the auxiliary equation, dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r. It means that p is uh, this entire equation is symmetric. By using the symmetric property, we, we have the rights to replace p is equal to dx, q is equal to dy and r is equal to dz. Directly I am taking p is equal to dx here. So, x into dx plus m1, m1 is nothing but y and q is nothing but dy and uh, n1 is nothing but z. By symmetric property in the auxiliary equation, replace r is equal to dz. We have the rights, no doubt at all. So, take integration. So, integration x dx plus the y dy plus integral z dz. This is a shortcut trick. So, what is the integration of x? x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 is equal to c2 by 2. So, all 2's are gets cancelled. Okay, always we have to take the integral constant as uh, we have to choose the integral constant according to the remaining terms. So, in previous step, since all terms are have log, I am adding log c1. Here, all terms are have division 2. That is why I am taking division 2 instead of only c2. Okay? So, however, second solution is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to c2. You can take this as v. So, finally, what is the general solution? One second. So, finally, general solution of 1. Always the general solution of a Lagrange's partial differential equation is in the form of f of u comma v is equal to 0. So, f of u, what is u? y by z. And what is v? x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 0, where f is arbitrary function, f is arbitrary function. Since Lagrange's PDE is the first order partial differential equation, its general solution should contain only one arbitrary function, do not forget that rule.
in this way we can solve the lagrange's pda okay suppose last two ratios are not solved directly you have to choose you have to select two sets of multipliers another set of multiplier named as l2 l2 m2 n2 you have to guess you have to search for l2 m2 n2 so that the combination l2 p plus m2 q plus n2 r is equal to 0 already in earlier problems so i discussed how to search multipliers once look at that problems also thank you very much